political leaders across the world and here in the United States, meanwhile, remembering Britain's first female prime minister. Margaret Thatcher died this morning following a stroke. She was 87. It was also announced today that there will be a ceremonial funeral with military honors at St. Paul's Cathedral. Thatcher was given the nickname the Iron Lady, something former Secretary of State Colin Powell joked about. And we always watched that handbag literally on her arm, waiting to see if she was going to swing it at us. <laughs> and there is a woman in Palm Beach who plans to attend Thatcher's funeral. Gay Gaines says the two were so close that they talked or she talked with the former prime minister at least once a month. The two met 25 years ago working for the National Review Institute and built a friendship from there. Gaines knew Thatcher wasn't well and she recalled for us their last conversation just two weeks ago. She remembered visiting us on Vail. She remembered she'd love to talk about the Falklands War and the minute you talked about her past, she would remember. She, her short-term memory was gone. We spoke with Gaines on the way to the airport today. She was headed for Ohio. You see her driving to the airport right here, but she says she will be going to the UK very soon. Coming up at 5.30, our coverage continues on Margaret Thatcher. A local associate professor from FAU will be joining us to talk about Thatcher's impact on women in politics.